What is the link? What do cars have to do with books, you might ask? The Trilateral Commission with the Council on Foreign Relations. You ever hear of them? Well, neither did I until I noticed the chain of coincidence. Hello, and welcome to Popcorn News, something to watch while you eat popcorn. Do not try to comprehend it all. Nay, just eat the popcorn. It is a Thanksgiving of horror. <laughs> the day was originally meant to help unify the nation. In the years leading up to the American Civil War, Sarah Josepha Hale wanted to help ease the tensions between the North and the South by having a national day of Thanksgiving. Abraham Lincoln, on, in October of 1863, proclaimed that the last Thursday in November would be a national day of Thanksgiving. But now, Thanksgiving has mutated into a day of horror. <laughs> From the calm start of giving thanks, little Indian stories began to be added on. The kind-hearted Indians in these fanciful tales helped the New England settlers to grow corn and they had a celebration meal. But then the simple meal turned into a stuffing yourself feast where you would eat so much that it wasn't good for you. Then, beer and football began to be added on. And then, there came to be the frenzy of Black Friday shopping. So you've got a simple day of giving thanks to help unify the nation. And then little Indian stories are added on and people begin stuffing themselves full and they add on beer and football and then they wake up slightly hungover and queasy in the stomach around four in the morning to make a mad dash to the shopping centers where there is terrible jostling in contention and people elbowing each other to get whatever coveted item. The country has gone crazy. The country's gone crazy. crazy girl. The country has gone crazy. Before the Civil War, there were deep psychic divisions between people on the question of slavery. Now we have a similar circumstance of psychic division regarding the recent surprise election of Donald Trump. It is a psychic division between the nationalists and the globalists. So you all head out to the family Thanksgiving feast and you've decided to erect a wall of safety because you don't want a bunch of quarreling going on between the different relatives. So y'all agree, well we just won't talk politics, but then someone just can't help but make a witty remark slightly nudging one of the sides and before too long one of the other sides 
retorts with their own little funny story that slightly pokes into the other side. And before too long, the wall of safety has fallen down and the knives come out. It is a Thanksgiving of horror.